we're going to apply that half-beat rhythm to the really famous song Stand By Me, covered by loads of people including the Beatles and all that, um, but originally was by Ben E. King. And just so you know, I've slightly simplified the left hand part just so you can focus on this right hand rhythm for the moment. I'll play it for you now so you can hear what you're learning. And I'll also sing along just so you can hear what it sounds like. And I'll just do the first verse and chorus. So first of all, I want you to spend some time getting used to the chords. The chord, we've got an A major. So if you can remember, a major is a three and a two. So I'm gonna let you figure that chord out and then I'll show you it so you can see if you've got it right. Okay, so the A major. Start below middle C. You might have found it up here, but see, so you've got the A and leaf three out, and then a C sharp, and then leaf two out, which is an E above that. So that's the A major. You might have figured it up out there, but I think for this song, we start below middle C. Okay, so if you can figure out the next chord now, the F sharp minor. So it's a minor, so a two and a three. So if you figure out below middle C, again in this case, I'm gonna give you a few moments to figure that one out as well. F sharp minor. Okay, so the F sharp minor, so you've got F sharp below middle C, and then it's a minor, so leave two out. An A, and you leave three out. C sharp on top. Okay, so you've got A major, F sharp minor, and then the next one is a D major. So again, if you can figure this one out, but below middle C. Okay, so starting here. And it's a D major, so a three and a two. All right, so should have got this D major. Okay, and then the last chord we need for this is an E major. So for this one, when you're figuring it out, if you go up to the E above the D where you've just been, there. I'll give you a few more moments and then I'll show you it. All right, so here we have the E major, so we've got E, three, and then leave two out, there you go. So all together you've got an A major, F sharp minor, D major, and then an E. So those are four chords. Don't play them like I am. I'm just tucking the fingers in so you can see it. Remember to keep an arch in your fingers and your hands. So spend some time getting used to these chords, just so you can find them nice and quickly. Feel free to pause the video if you need to practice it. And then we're going to apply the rhythm to the song. So let's begin. So it's that rhythm you were clapping before, playing on the one and the and. 
So if we were to just do one bar, it would sound like this. One and two and three and four and. And then that rhythm repeats itself throughout this chord progression. So we're gonna play through it slowly, just with the right hand first, and then we'll add the left hand. So you've got one and two and three and four and 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 one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now I'm just going to go through the full chord progression here so you can hear what it sounds like and then I want you to have a go at playing along with a click. Okay, so let's begin. So that's what it sounds like. I wasn't doing the left hand, that kind of thing, because I just want to focus on getting the rhythms at the start. We will start adding more complicated left hand parts later on in the course. Okay, so now I want you to have a go. We're gonna go through the chord progression twice, slowly. The first time, I'm gonna play with you, and the second time, I'm just gonna move my hands so you can see where they should be. And we'll just do the right hand first of all. So let's begin. We're going to wait for four clicks and then we're going to begin. So this is the slow version. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and repeat one and two and three and four and 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 Okay, hopefully you were able to keep up with that pace. If you need to practice it more, feel free to do that. But now we're gonna go faster. So we're gonna go up to pace now. And also, we're gonna add in some single notes into your left hand. So if you remember before in Someone Like You, whichever chord you were doing, you would play a single note in your left hand. We're gonna do the same thing here, but you're just gonna play at the same time as the right hand. So it would be like this. A major chord in your right, so single A in your left. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and to the next one is F sharp minor. So you play an F sharp. You can move your thumb down if you want or you can play it with a third finger. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And now the D and then the E, the left hand as well. Right then, let's have a go. So you're gonna wait for four beats and then let's begin. So here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four and. Okay, that was quite fast. Hopefully you were able to keep up with the beat there and playing the chords on the correct beats. 
Now this last part of the lecture is additional practice really. You can move on if you want, but for those of you that might feel you need a little bit extra work on this rhythm, we're going to go through the chord progression twice, but without me playing, just so you can get used to playing with the beat. So all I'm going to do is count, right? And remember you're playing on the one and the and. So we're going to wait for four beats. I'm just going to play the first bar and then you continue on your own. Let's begin. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay, that was taking a look at half beats using the song Stand By Me. I'll see you in the next lecture where we take a look at chord inversions.